walk into the corner of my room See my friends in high places I don't know which is which or who is whom They've stolen each other's faces Janet is there with her high head and hair Full of bedroom feathers and Janet is known to make dead men groan In any kind of weather I crawl over to her I say, hey baby, I say, hey Janet You are the one, you are the sun And I'm your beautiful planet But she ain't down with any of that Cause she's heard that shit before And I say, oh, uh -huh, yeah, you're right Cause I see Betty X standing by the door With more news from nowhere More news from nowhere Yeah, more news from nowhere More news from nowhere And it's getting strange in here Yeah, it's getting strange about that sale you shot, some son of a bitch that doesn't want to buy, somebody doesn't want what you're selling, some broad you're trying to screw and so forth. Let's talk about something important. Are they all here? All but one. Well, I'm going anyway. Let's talk about something important. Put that coffee down. Coffee's for closers only. <laughs> Think I'm fucking with you? I am not fucking with you. I'm here from downtown. I'm here from Mitch and Murray, and I'm here on a mission of mercy. Your name's Levine? Yeah. You call yourself a salesman, you son of a bitch? You know what, I don't have to sit here and listen to this. You certainly don't, pal, because the good news is you're fired. Bad news is you've got all you got just one week to regain your job, starting tonight. Starting with tonight's sit. Uh oh. Have I got your attention now? It's good, because we're adding a little something to this month's sales contest. As you all know, first prize is a Cadillac Eldorado. Anyone want to see second prize? Second prize is a steak knife. Third prize is you're fired. Get the picture? You laughing now? You got leads. Mitch and Murray paid good money. Get their names to sell them. You can't close the leads you're given, you can't close shit. You are shit. Hit the bricks, pal, and beat it, because you are going out. The leads are weak. The leads are weak? The fucking leads are weak? You're weak. I've been in this business 15 years. Uh, what's your name? Fuck you. That's my name. You know why, mister? Because you drove a Hyundai to get here tonight. I drove an $80,000 BMW. That's my name. And your name is your wanting. And you can't play in a man's game. You can't close them. And you go home and tell your wife your troubles. Because only one thing counts in this life. Get them to sign on the line which is dotted. You hear me, you fucking faggots? A, B, C. A, always B, B, C, closing. Always be closing. Always be closing. A, I, D, A. Attention, interest, decision, action. Attention, do I have your attention? Interest, are you interested? I know you are because it's fuck or walk. You close or you hit the bricks. Decision, have you made your decision for Christ? And action, A, I, D, A. Get out there. You got the, you got the prospects coming in. Think they came in to get out of the rain? A guy doesn't walk on the lot unless he wants to buy. He's sitting out there waiting to give you his money. Are you going to take it? Are you man enough to take it? It's a problem, pal. You. Moss. I don't know. You're so rich. You're such a hero. Why are you wasting your time on a bunch of bums? <laughs> See this watch? You see this watch? Uh, yeah. This watch costs more than your car. 
I made $970,000 last year. How much you make? See, pal? That's who I am. And you're nothing. Nice guy? I don't give a shit. Good father? Fuck you. Go home and play with your kids. You want to work here? Close. Do you think this is abuse? Do you think this is abuse, you cocksucker? You can't take this? How can you take the abuse you get on a sit? You don't like it? Leave. I can go out there tonight with the materials you got in two hours, make myself $15,000. Tonight, in two hours. Can you? Can you? Go and do likewise. A, I, D, A. Get mad, you sons of bitches. Get mad. You know what it takes to sell real estate? It takes brass balls to sell real estate. Go and do likewise, gents. The money's out there. You take it, it's yours. If not, you have, I have no sympathy for you. You want to go out on those sits tonight and close? Close. It's yours. If not, you're going to be shining my shoes. Bunch of losers sitting around a bar. Yeah, I used to be a salesman once. It's a tough racket. These are the new leads. These are the Glen Gary leads, and to you, they're gold. And you don't get them, because to give them to you is just throwing them away. They're for closers. I'd wish you good luck, but you wouldn't know what to do with it if you got it. And uh, answer your question, pal, why am I here? I'm here because Mitch and Murray asked me to come, asked me for a favor. I said, the real favor? Follow my advice and fire your fucking ass, because a loser is a loser. <laughs> John, look, the Glen Gary Highland leads, you send in Roma out, fine. He's, he's fine, we know what he is, he's a good man, he's fine. All I'm saying, you are throwing the leads away. Oh, wait, wait, wait. All I'm saying is, you are throwing the leads away. You look at that board, you are throwing them away. All I'm saying, you're wasting leads. Now, if you put a proven man out there on the job, wait, wait. If you put a proven man out on the job, you can see there is more than one man for the job, all right? You watch your dollar revenue start to go up. You start closing, for 50 instead of 25. And I'm telling you- Shelly, you blew the last good leads. No, 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 John. I did not blow the last good leads. One I closed, one- You didn't close that. Would you let, if you'd let me finish. One I closed, it was his ex. His ex? The judge Shelley, invalidated the please. thing. And what is that? What is that, John? That is bad luck. I pray in your life, you never find that it runs in streaks. But that's what it does. And that's what it's doing, streaks. I, I, I pray it misses you. And that's all I want to say. What about the other two? What two? Four. You had four leads. Oh. One kicked oh, out. Do you want to go, go downtown to the courthouse? No, I you don't. You want to go downtown to the courthouse no, and check the records? I don't want, then what is this you say I shit? Only, what is this you say shit? All that I'm saying is what that is you that? Did, oh, A deal kicks out, Williamson. Shit, I got to eat. I, 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 you, Moss, Roma. Look at the sheets. Okay, 1980, uh, 80, 82. 1982, six months out of 82, who was at the top of the board? Roma. And below him? Moss. Oh, bullshit, Moss. It was not Moss, okay, due respect. Moss is an order taker, all right? He can talk the talk. But it was me, you know it was me. Not lately, it isn't. La Kiss my ass lately, all right? Is this how you want to build an organ? Talk to Murray, all right? Talk to Mitch. Who bought that car of his? When we were on Peterson, who bought that car? He comes in, the Seville, who bought it? He comes in, Shelly, you bought that car for me. Out of what? Fucking dead magazine subscription leads. And, and you're burning my ass. I can't get a lead because you think that was luck. That is not luck, my friend. That is skill. That is talent. 
And you want to throw that away? You honestly want to throw that away? It isn't me. It isn't you. Who is it? Who is it that I'm talking to right now? I need the leads. After the 30th. After, you're bullshit the 30th. After the 30th, if I'm not up on that board, I lose my job. I need the leads and I need them now or you're going to miss me. You're going to miss me, John. Murray. Well, Mur Did you talk to Murray? I have. And my job is to marshal the leads marshal, until after the 30th. Marshal the... What the fuck talk is that? What the fuck bus did you get off of? Marshal the leads? Our job is to sell. All right? Fuck marshalling the leads. Where, where did you learn that? School? My job is to sell. I am the man to sell, and you are giving me garbage, and I say that is fucked. You're saying that I'm fucked. Yes, I am. I'm sorry, I don't mean to antagonize you. Let me, let me tell you something, Shelly. You're going to miss me. I'm going to get Are bounced. you listening to me? Yes. Let me tell you something, Shelly. I do what I'm hired to do. If I, you wait a second. I'm hired to watch the leads. I'm, then if hold there on. Was a... I'm given a policy. My job is to do that, what I'm told. That's it. And I, I'm you, wait a second. Anybody? falls below a certain mark, I'm not permitted to give them the premium leads. And, and how do they get above that mark? With Drek, huh? That is nonsense. John, I want you to explain that to me because it's a waste and it's a stupid waste. You know how much those leads cost? The premium leads? Yeah. Yeah, I know how much they cost, John, because I, I generated the dollar revenue sufficient to buy them, okay? You, you want to know how much money I made in 1979? Is that what you want to know? 1979? I made $96,000 for Murray. For Mitch. Check the sheets. Murray said... That Fuck Murray, okay? Fuck him. You know, because what does he know? He's going to have a sales contest. You want to know what our sales contest used to be? Money. A fortune. Money lying on the ground. He comes in here with a sales contest. Murray, when's the last time he sat down with a customer? It is laughable, John. It is dry out there. It is tight. Money's tight. All right, it's not 1965 anymore. It ain't. It just ain't. Now, I am a good guy. Murray said gonna... that... John? John, Would you, you wait a second, like... please? Shelley, please. Murray told me the hot leads are assigned according to oh, the board. fuck this. Shelley, fuck. the hot leads are assigned according to the board during the contest, period. Anyone beats 50%. That's fucked. That is fucked. You do not look at the percentage. You look at the growth. Either way, you're out. I'm out? Yes. I'll tell you why I'm out. You're giving me toilet paper. Oh. All right, don't look at the board, look at me. Okay, Shelly Levine, you ask anyone, you, you, you ask Jerry Grant himself, okay? Who picked up a check when I was flush? Mitch, Murray, Moss? They all lived on the revenue that I brought in. They lived on it, and you would have benefited from it too had you, had you been here. And now I'm saying this, do I want charity? Do, do I want pity? No. I want sits. I want leads that don't come out of the fucking phone book. If, if you give me something better than that, I will close for you. All right, I'm in a rough streak and I'm gonna break it. I need your help. I can't do it, Shell. Why? Because the leads are assigned randomly according that, to the... fuck that. What are you telling me? You assigned the leads. Apart from the top men on the contest... Then put me on the contest board. When you start closing again, you'll be on the I, board. I... I cannot close the leads, John. No one can. They are a joke. If you give me one hot... Two. Two premium leads, all right? I will close them for you as a test. I can't do it, Shell. <laughs> I'll give you 10%. Of what? Of what I make. What if you don't close? I will close. What if you don't close? I will close. What if you don't? Then I'm fucked. You see? Then it's my job. That's what I'm telling you. I will close, John. It's 10%. I can get hot again. You know what? Not I'm... lately, you can't. Fuck that. Fuck it. That is defeatist. You want to do something? Let's do something. Get on my side. If you want to run this company, run it. 20%. All right. And 50 bucks a lead. John, Jesus Christ. Okay. Let me tell you something. All right, allow me. Allow me to tell you something because I am older than you. All right? A man acquires a reputation on the streets. What he does when he's up, what he does otherwise. I said 10, you said no. You said 20, I said fine. Now, am I going to fuck with that? How, how can I do better than that? You, you, you tell me. Huh? Okay. Okay, fine. 
20% and 50 bucks a lead. We'll do that, that'll do for now. In two months, we'll talk, a uh, month, a after the 30th, we'll talk. What are we going to nope, say? No, you're right. That talk is not for now, that's for a month from now. Tonight, I want two leads. I'm not sure that I have two. Bullshit, I saw the board, you've got four. I've got Roma, then I've got Bullshit. more. Bullshit, they haven't been in the office yet. Give him some stiff. Now, do we have an agreement or not? Huh? I want two. Two leads. All right, and I want them, uh, desk planes. Six and ten. All right, or six and ten, eight or eleven, I don't give a shit. You figure it out, and I'll do it. I just want them now. All right. Great, now we're talking. A hundred bucks. Now? Now. Now. Yes, shit, when? Shit, John. Jesus. I wish I could. You fucking asshole, I don't have it. I don't have it, John. But look, if we go, uh, if we go to the, the hotel, I'll pay for the gas. We'll go to the hotel, I'll get the rest Can't of the do money. It, I can give you 30 bucks now and the rest tomorrow. Can we do that for Christ's sake? No. John, I'm asking you as a favor to me. <clears throat> My daughter, John. I can't do it, Shell. Yeah? Well, let me tell you something, pal. Wasn't very long ago that I could get you fired. For what? Nothing. I call Murray up, Murray, this new kid burns my ass. He's gone, Shelly, and you are gone by the time I get back from lunch. I bought him a trip to Bermuda once. I have to go. Ja one lead, all right, one, the, the best one you've got. I can't split them. Why? Because I say so. That, that's how you want to do business? That's how you want to do business? Fine, fine. What if you get on the other list? You want something off the B list? Yeah. Yes. Is that what you're saying? Yes, that is what I am saying. I want something off the other list. I'm entitled to that if I still work here, which I believe for the moment I do. What? I'm sorry if I spoke harshly to you. It's all right. All right, but our other thing still stands, the, the deal. Great. Okay, you want to know something? I, uh... I left my wallet at the hotel. Appreciate Dead beats and Pollocks. Pollocks. Dead beats all. You know, they, 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 they hide all their money. They hold on to their money. They, hold, they do all of them. Uh, and they, hey, it happens to us all. Mm. All right? Where am I going to work? You missed a fucking sale, George. Big deal. Mm. A deadbeat Pollock? Big deal. You, your mistake, you shouldn't have, how are you gonna sell them in the first place? Your mistake, you shouldn't have took the lead. Well, I had to. You had to, yeah, why? Well, to get on the board. Oh, to get on the board, yeah? How are you gonna get on the board selling a full line? Huh? And I'll tell you this, I'll tell you what else, you ready? I'll tell you what else. Don't ever try to sell an Indian. I never sell an Indian. You get those names that keep coming up. You ever get them? Patel. Mm. You ever get them? Mm. I think I had one once. Oh, you did? I, I don't know. Oh, you had one, you know it. Patel, they keep coming up. I don't know, they like to talk to salesmen. They, they're lonely, something, I, I don't know. They like to feel superior, I don't know. Never bought a fucking thing. You know, you're sitting down. Oh, the real rancho, this, the blah, blah. My brother told me that, yeah, blah, blah, blah. <sighs> fucking grapevine, fucking Indians, George. Not my cup of tea. And speaking of which, I want to tell you something. I never got a cup of tea with them. See them in restaurants. Such a supercilious race. What the fuck is this look on their face all the time? What? I don't know. I don't know. All their broads look like they got fucked with a dead cat. I, I don't like it one bit. Christ. What? The whole fucking thing. The whole thing. The pressure is just too great. You're absolutely right, you know. You go in the door and it's like, I gotta close this fucker. I don't eat lunch or I don't win the Cadillac. Mm. No, we fucking worked too hard. You worked too hard. You know? I remember when we were at Pratt, no, uh, Glen Ross Farms. Mm, didn't we sell Yeah, they just eggs? came in and well, they, they just. They came in and they fucked it up. They did. They did. They filled the goose. They, you know what? They, they stuck and us with this. This fucking. This, and all, we're here with this fucking shit. This shit. And you know, yes. it's too. They, it you is. Got a bad you know, it's too. It, you and, and you're up on this board. board yes. It, contest board. Exactly. That, you know. We fucking work too hard, you know, for some fucking get it, sell 10,000 and win the state now. Oh. No, fuck that. For some sales promotion. Exactly, for some sales promotion. You know, and it's not, 
<laughs> Fuck them. Fuck them. And another thing, let me tell you this. You ready? You know who's to blame? No. It's Mitch and Murray, because it doesn't have to be this way. It doesn't? No. Look at, look at Jerry Graff. He's going into business for himself. What, and he's got that uh, fucking list of nurses. You know what I'm talking about? See, that's thinking. Why take 10%, a 10%, why are we giving the rest away to the office for some jerk off to sit there and say, oh, get out there and close. Don't win the Cadillac. No. And, you know, the fact that you work too hard, that scares me that they would do something like that to us. You know what I mean? It's Graf. It's Graf. God, you're it's right. It's fucking Jerry Graf. You know what I mean? And that, see, that's thinking. All right, he's got that, uh, who, who's got a job? A couple bucks nobody's touched to? Nurses. So he buys a fucking list of nurses, all right? One grand, if you pay two, I'll eat my hat. For four, 5,000 nurses, and he's going wild. He is? Oh, he's doing very well. See, I heard they were going cold. The nurses? Yes. You hear a lot of things. He's doing very, he's doing very well. With River Oaks. Oh, River Oaks, Brook Farms, all the shit. You know, someone told me, you know what he's clearing himself? No. 14, 15 grand a week. Himself? That's what I'm saying. Why the leads? He's got the good leads. Okay? Now, he has that list of nurses as well. Mm -hmm. But what about us? Why, why, uh, why are we sitting in this shit here? Why? 90% our sale we're paying to the office for the leads. Well, it's the leads, the, the overheads, the telephone calls. There's, there's a lot of things. Wait, what, what do you need? A broad to answer a telephone. Oh, good morning. It's nothing. Uh, it's nothing. It's not that simple, Dave. Yes, it is. It is that simple, George. It is. And you know what? I'll tell you something. Yes. Yes, Dave. I want to tell you what somebody should do. Somebody should, you know. Yes. Stand up and strike back. What do you mean? Somebody should do something to hurt them. Mitch and Murray, where they live. Somebody should hurt them. Yes. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. How? How? Do something to hurt them, George, where they live. How would we go about doing this? What do you mean, how? Do something where they live. Look. Someone should rob the office. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I mean, if we were the kind of guys to, you know, knock it off and trash the joint, you know, take the fucking leads out of the file, <laughs> go to Jerry Grant. How much would we get for him? How much do they pay for them? A buck a throw? I don't know. A buck a half a throw? I don't know what we could get for them. Fucking, I don't know. Uh, three bucks a throw? I don't know. And how many leads have we got? The Glen Gary, the premium leads. I'd say we got about 5,000 5, leads. And you're saying that a fella could steal the leads and sell those leads to Graf? Yes. How do you know he'd go for it? Graf? Because I worked for him. Yeah, but you haven't actually talked to him. No, what, what do you mean? Have I talked to him about this? Yes, I, I mean, are, are, you, are we actually talking about this or are you just? No, 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 no. We're just, just, we're just, just speaking about we're it. We're just talking about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, just, yeah. no, 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 we're just speaking about it. Well, we're not actually talking about it <laughs> as a robbery. As a robbery? What? No, no. That is a robbery. No. Hey. Hey, because, because you, didn't, you didn't actually talk to Graf. Not actually, no. You didn't. No, not actually. Did you? What did I just say? What did you say? I said yes, not actually. The fuck you care, George, we're just talking. Are we? Yes. Because, because you know it is a crime. <laughs> That's right. It's a crime. It is a crime. It's also very safe. So you are actually talking about this. That's right. You're going to steal the leads. Did I say that? Are you? Have I said that? Did you talk to Graf? Is that what I said? What did he say? What did he say? He'd buy them. For how much? A 
buck a shot for 5,000. However they are, that's the deal. A buck a throw, 5,000 leads, split it half and half. You're saying me? Yes. Now it's, we split it half, 2,500 a piece, and the job with Graf working the premium leads. A job with Graf? Is that what I said? He'd give me a job? He would take you on, yes, Is George. that the truth? Yes. Now I know, I know it's a big decision, okay? And it's a big reward. It's a very big reward for one night's work. But it's gotta be tonight. What? What, what, the leads? You have to steal the leads tonight? That's right, the guys are moving them downtown after the 30th. Mitch and Murray after the contest. So you have to go into the office tonight. You. And, I'm sorry. You. <laughs> Me? You have to go in, George. I, no, you I, have to get the no, leads. I, I, it, it's not something for nothing, George. Look, I brought you in on this. You have to go. That's your thing. I've made the deal with Graf. I can't go in. I can't go. I, you know, I've got a big mouth. You know, all the fucking leads, et cetera, et cetera. Blah, blah, yeah, but he's going to know when you go over to Graf. What will they know? That I took the leads? I didn't. I didn't take the leads, George. You know why? Because I was out with a friend at the movies. And then I'm going to the Como Inn afterwards. Why did I make the deal with Graf? Because I got a better deal. Period. Let them prove something. They can't prove anything that's not the case. Dave. Yes. Dave, you want me to go into the office tonight and steal the leads? Yes. No. Oh, yes, George. Look, listen to this, okay? I have an alibi. I'm going to the Como Inn, all right? And then I'm going to the movies with a friend. Why? Why? The place gets robbed. They're going to come looking for me. Why? Because I probably did it. And are you going to turn me in? George, are you going to turn me in? Yeah, but what if you don't get caught? They come to you then. Are you going to turn me in? Why would they come to me? They're going to come to everyone. Y yeah, but, but, but why would I do it? You wouldn't, George. You wouldn't. That's why I'm talking to you, George. Now answer me. They come to you. Are you going to turn me in? No. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> then listen to this. I have to get those leads tonight. That's something that I have to do. If I'm not over at the movies with my friend, if I'm not having dinner over at the inn, if you don't do this, then I have to come in here. No, you don't have to come in here. No, place. I thought we were just talking about this. We are. Well, uh, you know what? They take me then. They're going to ask me who my accomplices were. Me? Absolutely. That is ridiculous. Well, to the law, you're an accessory before the fact. W w I didn't ask to be. Well, then tough luck, George, because you are. Just because you told me about this. That's right. W w why are you doing this? Why are you doing this at all? Why are you talking to me this way? Why are you doing this at all? Why? George, the fucking leads. That's why. Well, okay. Well, then you better talk to me because we sat down to dinner and now all of a sudden I'm a criminal. Well, you went for it. In the abstract. So I'm making it concrete. Why? Why? Why are you going to give me five grand? Do you need five grand? Is that the problem? Is that what I said? If it's money, that's the problem. Please. Look, 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 listen. Hey, hey, let's just keep this simple, okay? What I need is not the... What do you need? What five grand? Now, you said you were going to take five grand and you were going to split I lied, all right? I lied. Okay? My end is my business, your end is 2,500. In or out? You tell me. You're out to take the consequences. I am? That's right. Why? Because you listened.
smell vaguely of shit. It gets so that you don't mind it. <laughs> That's the worst thing I can confess. You know how long it took me to get there? A long time. When you die, you will regret the things you don't do. You think you're queer? Hey, let me tell you something. We're all queer. Think you're a thief? So what? You get befuddled by this middle class morality. Get shut of it. Shut it out. You cheated on your wife. You did it. You live with it. You fuck little girls. So be it. There's an absolute morality? Maybe. And then what? If you think there is, be that thing. Bad people go to hell? I don't think so. If you think that, act that way. A hell exists on Earth? Yes. I won't live in it. That's me. You ever take a dump made you feel like you slept for 12 hours? Did I ever take a dump? Yes. I don't know. <laughs> or a piss? Um. See, a great meal fades in reflection. Everything else gains. You know why? Because it's only food. The shit we eat. It keeps us going, but it's only food. <clears throat> the great fucks you may have had, what do you remember about them? <laughs> what do I remember about the great Yes. Um. I don't know. For me, what I'm saying, what it is, it's probably not the orgasm. You know, it's some broad's forearms on your neck. It's something her eyes did. It was a sound she made. For me, lying, I'll tell you, me lying in bed, next day she brings me a cafe au lait. Hands me a cigarette. My balls feel like concrete. What I'm saying? What am I saying? What is our life? It's looking forward or it's looking back, and that's our life. That's it. Where is the moment? And what is it we're afraid of? Loss. What else? The bank closes. We get sick. My wife died on an airplane. The stock market collapsed. The, the house burns down. And what if these happen? None of them. We worry anyway. Why is this? What does this mean? I'm not secure. <coughs> How can I be secure? By amassing wealth beyond all measure? No. What is beyond all measure? That, that's a sickness. That's a trap. There is no measure. Only greed. How can we act? The correct way, we might say, to deal with this is there's a one in a million chance that so-and-so will happen. Fuck it. It's not going to happen to me. No. <laughs> we know that's not the way we should think, right? Say the correct way is there's a one in so-and-so chance this will happen. God protect me. I am powerless. Let it not happen to me. But don't, no to that, I say there's something else. What is it? If it happens, as it may, for it is not within our powers, I will deal with it. Just as I deal today with what draws my concern today, I say this is how we must act. I do those things which seem correct to me today. I trust myself. And if security concerns me, I do those things which make me secure. And every day I do that, when that day arrives that I do need that reserve, A, odds are I have it. And B, the true reserve that I have is the strength that I have in living each day without fear, according to the dictates of my mind. Stocks, bonds, objects of art, real estate, what are they? An opportunity to what? To make money, perhaps. 
to lose money, perhaps, to indulge and to learn about ourselves, perhaps, so fucking what? What isn't? They're an opportunity, they're an event. A guy comes up to you, you make a phone call, you read a brochure, there are these properties I'd like for you to see. What does it mean? What you want it to mean. Money? That's what it signifies to you. Security, comfort, all it is is things that happen to you. That's all it is. How are they different? A poor newly married guy gets run down by a cab. The bus boy wins the lottery. All it is, it's a carnival. What's special? What draws us? Because we're all different. We're not the same. We're not the same. It's been a long day. What are you drinking? Gimlet. Well, let's have a couple more, huh? My name is Richard Roma. What's yours? Link. James Link. James. Nice to meet you. Glad to meet you, James. I want to show you something, and it might mean nothing to you. And it might not. I don't know. I don't know anymore. What is that? It's Florida. Glengarry Highlands, Florida. Florida, bullshit. <laughs> and that may be, and I said it, but look at this. What is this? This is a piece of land. Listen to what I'm going to tell you now. And stupid I lie upon the stones in our streets The darling little dandelions done the thing that they change from suns into moons The dragons roam the shopping malls I hear they're gonna eat our guts If I have the strength I might pick up my sword And make some attempt to resist Get ready to shoot yourself Your sap and your heater. Get ready to shoot yourself. They used to say that there are numbers of such magnitude that multiplying them by two made no difference. Who used to say that? In school. <clears throat> All right. Williamson! Williamson, they Excuse stole the me, contracts. Sir. Excuse Did they me, get fella, the contracts? Hey, they got, Tell me. Excuse Did me. They, don't Sir. fuck with me, fella. I'm talking about the Cadillac car they that you They didn't get your contract. Me. They didn't. I, they didn't. They, Verify. Excuse me. Oh, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Williamson, talk to me. Who are you? They didn't get your contract. They didn't. Some they got, listen to me. Listen to me. They took some of them. Some of them? Who told you? Who told? You have a fucking board. Who is this? You have a fucking board out on the window. Moss told me. Moss, who told Moss? How the fuck do I know? What? Talk to me. They took some of the contracts. Some of them. Link. James Link. I closed You him. closed it yesterday. Yes. It went down. You I did. Filed you filed it. it. Yes. Then I'm over the fucking top and you owe me a Cadillac. I can't. And do I don't want any fucking shit. And I don't give a shit. Link puts me over the top. You filed it. That's fine. Any shit kicks out, you go back and reclose it. You, because I closed it and you, you owe me the car. Would you please excuse us? Um, maybe, maybe, maybe they're, in, maybe they're, George, you should check. Because I'm sure that we're insured, George. Fuck insured, you owe me the car. Please don't leave, I want to talk to you. What's your name? Are you talking to me? Yeah. My name is Richard Roma. Hi, um, you know, they should be insured. What do you care? Uh, because then they wouldn't be so upset. Yes, that's right, yes, that's fine. How are you? I'm fine. Oh, you mean the board. No, you I don't. You mean the board. Okay, well, fine, the well, board. Well, I, 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 I am fucked. 
I am fucked on the board because I can't seem to, I can't seem to do any, you know. I, I, my mind must be in other places because I can't do any, you know. Do any what? What? I, I can't close them. Well, I saw the shit they were giving you. It's old. It is. Huh? Yes, the shit is old. It's ancient. Yes. Clear Meadows, that shit's oh, dead. Oh, God. It's a waste of time. It is a waste of time. I am no fucking good. Hey, that's... It's everything. I know. Hey, fuck that shit, George. You had a bad month, all right? You're a good man. I am. You had a bad streak. We've... Look at this. 15 units, Mountain View, the fucking things get stolen. He said he filed it. No, he filed the big one. He filed some of it. The other half, the smaller part, I have to go back. Oh, fuck. I have to go back like a fucking schmuck. Hat in my hand and reclose. I mean, talk about a bad streak. That would just zap anyone's self. I have to go back and reclose. Where are the phones? They stole the phones. I mean... What, they stole the what, what kind of outfit are we running here? Where anyone they we're, stole the phone. Where a criminal can they just stole break the phones, in here. They stole the lead. Mm -hmm. They're cr Christ, what am, gonna gonna catch <laughs> what am I going to do all month? Where are you going? Down the street. Where are you going? To the restaurant. What do you fucking care? Aren't you going out today? With what? With what, John? They stole the leads. I have the stuff from last year's Oh, file. oh, from your nostalgia file. That's fine, because I don't have to. You want to go out to today? Eat this. I don't have to eat this <coughs> month. No, no, fine. Give it to me. Fucking Mitch and Murray are gonna shit a brick. What With am I going leads? to do? What am I going to do all month? With the leads insured. I don't know, George, why? Well, because you know, because if Mitch and Murray, if, well. What? Because they're going to be very upset. That's right. You wanna go out today? He said that we're all gonna have to talk to the guy. What? To the he cops? said that we're all going to have to talk, yes, oh, to the cops. That's swell. Another waste of time. A waste of time? Why? Why? Because they're not going to find the guy. The cops? Yes, the cops. No. Why not? Because they're stupid, George. Where were you last night? Where were you? Where was I? Yes. I was at home. Where were you? At home. See? Were you the guy that broke in? Was I? Yes. No. Then don't sweat it, George. You know why? Why? You've got nothing to hide. When I talk to the police, I get nervous. Yeah, you know who doesn't? No, who? Thieves. Why not? They're inured to it. You think so? Yes. What should I tell him? The truth, George. Always tell the truth. It's the easiest thing to remember. Patel? Ravidam Patel. How am I supposed to make a living off of these deadbeat wogs? Where'd you get these from, the morgue? If you don't want it, give it back. I don't want them if you get my drift. I'm giving you three leads. What is the fucking point? In any case, what is the point? I have to argue with you. I'm knocking heads with the cops. I'm busting my balls selling your dirt to these deadbeats. Money in the mattress. I come back. You can't even manage to keep the contract safe. I have to go out there and file them again. What the fuck? Am I wasting my time? Fuck this shit. I'm going out to reclose well, the word from Murray is leave them alone. If we need a new signature, he'll go out himself. Okay, 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 okay. Give this shit. Fine, fine. I'm giving you three leads. Uh, three? I count two. Three. Patel, fuck you. Fucking Shiva gave him a million dollars and told him to sign the contract he wouldn't sign. And Vishnu, too, into that bargain. Fuck that, John. You know your business? I know mine. Your business is being an asshole. And if I ever find out whose cousin you are, I'm going to him to find a way to have your ass. Fuck you. I'll wait for the new leads. Pick up the chalk. Jeez. Pick up the chalk. Pick up the chalk. I closed. I close the cocksucker, pick up the chalk, and put me on the board! Because I am going to Hawaii! <laughs> Williamson, pick up the fucking chalk and put me on the board. Eight units, gentlemen. Eight units, Mountain View. You sold eight Mountain View. You bet your ass I did. Now who wants to go to lunch? Who wants to go to lunch? I am buying! Because $82,000, John, and $12,000 in commission. <gasps> on deadbeat subscription leads. Who? Read it. Bruce and Harriet Nyborg. Oh, fuck, I had them on River Glen. What happened here? Somebody Eight broke in. Eight units. What happened? That's Mountain right. View. That's right. Shelly, that's... Big Shelly. deal, I broke a bad streak, huh? Shelly the Machine Levine. No. <laughs> that's great. Thank you, George. Aaron, hey, now. Hey, uh, Williamson, if we could uh, call Mitch and Murray. They tell stole about the, the phones. Aaron, hey, right now. They stole the typewriters. They stole the leads. They stole the cash. They, they stole the contracts. We had a robbery. When? Last night, this morning. And they stole the leads? Huh. Hmm. All the leads? Fuck All of that them. Fucking, fucking asshole. That 
fucking asshole. What, they beat you with a rubber bat? The cop couldn't find his dick. Two hands in a map. Anyone talks to this guy's a fucking asshole. Going out to turn states? Fuck you, Ricky. I ain't going out today. I'm going home. You know why? I'm going home because nothing's accomplished. Guess here. what the machine did? Fuck the machine. Eight units, Mountain View. Fucking cops got no right to talk to me that way. You I didn't rob the place! You hear what I said? Yeah, he closed the deal. Mountain View, eight units. You did that? Yeah. Fuck you. Guess who? When? Just now. Guess who? You just this morning. Harriet and blah blah Nyborg. You did that? Eighty two thousand dollars. Those fucking deadbeats. Oh my ass, listen, oh, I my, have I, I, I don't want to hear any of your fucking um, more stories. Oh, fuck you know what you, I said? Dave. Give me some leads. You I'm gonna go out yourself. right now. You know right. what? I'm going You gotta believe now. in yourself. Fuck Harry the leads, I'm Bruce. going home. We don't have any leads. Why not? They took them. Fuck yeah, the garbage anyway, himself. this whole goddamn right, thing's You might look anyway. around and you say, hey, why has she got Shit. something and I've got nothing, huh? And, and did I'm they, saying to and them. Did they take the contracts too? Fuck you, Karen. Could what everyone please shut up? I'm trying to, to tell a story here. Can we get some coffee? <clears throat> hey, how you doing? I'm fine. Uh-huh. If anyone's going out, can we please get some coffee? Uh, right, so look, so I got Wait, down. what the fuck is that and supposed I say, to be? You me? might have something, I have nothing, but I Ricky, have the same That I don't care, that they have, stole okay? the contract? I got them sitting down there, and Why I mean, does that, mean? Mean? that means, Dave, that you haven't closed a good one in over a month. None of my business, you pressed me to answer you, and so you don't have a contract to get stolen, or so forth. You got a mean streak in you, Ricky, you know so, that? So, Rick, I mean, oh, shut the fuck up. Ricky, you got a mean streak in you, you know that? You know that? If, you know, you're hot, so you think you're hot shit. Oh. If you were on a bad one, bring that shit up. Wait, bring that shit up on my volume. If you were on a bad one, and I brought it up to you, you'd harbor it. You'd harbor it a long while, and you'd be right. Who said fuck the machine? Fuck the machine? Fuck the machine? What is this, courtesy class? You're fucked, Rick. You are fucking nuts! You know that? You're, you're on a hot streak, so you think you can just Dave, decide. Dave, I think if we all calm who down... Should be, and... Oh, shut up. Decide who should be dealt with how. Is that the thing now? Yeah, I come in the office, I get humiliated by some jag off cop, I get accused, I get this shit thrown in my face by you, that what you I genuine did, shit. I because I your top name you? on the board. My board. God, I'm Just sorry. Sitting on top of the world. No sitting on top of the world. Oh, and I don't have a moment bar. to spare for a bust out humanitarian down on his luck. Fuck you, Dave. You got a big mouth. All right, you make a close the whole place, smells of your farts for a week. How much you just ingested, what a big man you are. Here, here's a pack of gum, let me show you how to chew it. Your pal closes, all that comes out of your mouth is Who's bile. Who's my pal? How fucked Who's my pal, Ricky, huh? And who the fuck are you? Huh, Bishop, Bishop Sheehan, yeah, huh? Okay, yeah. Are you Mr. Slick, friend of the working man? Fuck you, you got the memory of a fucking fly I never liked. What is that. this, your farewell speech? I'm going home. Your farewell to the troops? I'm not going home. I'm going home to Wisconsin. Yeah, well, have a good trip. And fuck you. Fuck the lot of you. Fuck you all. You were saying? Come on, you got him in the kitchen. You got the plats spread out. You're in your shirt sleeves. You can smell it. Hey, come on. You're, you're eating their crumb cake. Oh, I'm eating their crumb cake. How was it? From the store. Fuck her. So I say, this is the time to recognize an opportunity and take it. Mm. And that's it. And I got the pen out. Always be closing. That's exactly it. That's it. The old ways. Convert the motherfucker. Sell him. Sell him. Make him sign the contract. Okay, so uh, Bruce, Harry at the kitchen, blah. They've got all their money in government bonds. I say fuck it, all right? I plat out the whole thing. Eight units, $82,000. Mm -hmm. And I say this is it. This is the moment, all right? That man's gonna walk through that door. That suitcase is gonna be full of money. This is the moment, Harriet. Harriet. And Bruce. I'm not gonna fuck around with you, all right? I'm not gonna pussyfoot around the damn thing. This is the time. You have to look back on this. I mean, I do too, but I came in here to help you and me, the both of us. The only arrangement I'll accept is full investment. Hmm? And then I say, I know what you're saying. Let's be safe. I know as soon as I leave that door, you're gonna make yourself a cup of coffee, you're gonna sit down and you're gonna say, let's be safe. Mm -hmm. And to make sure that you don't offend me, you're gonna go one unit, maybe two, because you got scared that you'd met possibility. But that will not do, and that is not the subject. And then, Ricky, I actually said this. That is not the subject of our evening together. Mm -hmm. I take the contract, I turn it around, I have the pen out. And what am I thinking, huh? My arm's tired? No. I say, I did it. I 
did it like I did in the old days, like I was taught. Like you taught me? No, that's bullshit. What you have was raw. You know what, if I taught you, then I'm glad I did. But anyway, the last thought in my mind, this is it. It's all on them, none on me. I got the pen in my hand, and then it was like they both wilted. Without a gesture, without a sound, they both inexplicably slumped. Huh? And he takes the pen, and he signs. He gives the pen to her, and she signs. I nod like this. I nod again, and I grasp his hands, and I shake his hands. Then I grasp her hands. Not a word. It was so fucking solemn, okay? I point to a sideboard, a sideboard I didn't even fucking know was there. He goes back, brings us a drink, pours it into shot glasses, little uh, pattern around the middle, and we toast in silence. That was a great sale. Ah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Leeds, Williamson, Leeds! Send me out! Send me out! The leads are coming. Yeah, well, get them to me. I talked to Murray and Mitch an hour ago. Oh, they're coming in unison. Sale? They're very upset. Did you tell them? How could I tell them about your sale? Huh? I don't have a tell. Well, I'll tell them about your sale when they bring in the leads. All right, Shelly? All right? We had a little. You closed the deal. You made a good sale. Fine. Well, I think it's better than a good sale. Look, I've got a lot of things in my mind. They're coming in, all right? They're very upset. I'm trying to make some all right, sense all of it. All I'm saying is I want you to tell them that it's a pretty remarkable sale. The only thing remarkable about it is who you made it to. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? That if the sale sticks, it will be a miracle. Why should the sale not stick? Huh? You know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. You have no idea of your job. A man is his job, and you are fucked at yours. You don't know how to run an office? Your end of the month board? When's the last time you sat down with a customer? When's the last time this cocksucker ever sat down with a customer, huh? I would you I'd calm down. Oh, Shelley. would you? What, you're gonna fire me? It's not impossible. Oh, really? On an eighty-two thousand dollar day. And it ain't even noon. You sold them today. Yes, I did. <laughs> this morning. See, this is where you fuck up, John. This is where you fuck up because you can't look down the road and see what's coming, huh? Might be someone new, might be someone completely new. And you can't look back either because you don't know the history. When we were on Peterson, who was at the top? The top of the bracket, eight months out of 12 for three years, me. Now what's that, is that luck? Is that some, uh, some purloined leads? No, that is skill, my friend. That, 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 yes, that is something that's you right. don't know because you weren't around. Cold calling, I go to your door I don't even know your fucking name. You don't even want what I'm selling, and I sell you it. You call it soft sell? Before we had a name for it, we did it. That's and, and right, Shell. I did it, and I put a kid through school, and she, you, cold calling, fella, all right? But, but you don't know. You don't know the first thing about leads. You don't know the first thing about marshalling your sales force. What are you, John? You're a secretary, fuck you. Fuck you, you don't like it? That's my message to you. Fuck you and kiss my ass. And if you really don't like it, I don't care. I'll go over to Jerry Graff's, period. It'll be done. So fuck you, put me on the board. I want three leads, three solid leads. And I don't want any bullshit. And I want them close together because I'm going to hit them all today. And uh, that's all I have to say to you. He's right, Williamson. It's not right. I'm sorry, it is not right. And you know who's to blame? Oh, it's Mitch Christ. and Murray. Uh, you know what? Don't hey, worry about it. We'll go to lunch. You're a client. I just sold you five waterfront what? Glengarry Fields. I rub my head, you throw them in the cute kennel. What is it again? Kennelworth. Kennelworth. Yes. I own the property. My mother owns the property. I put her into it. Now you go home, look at A3 through A14 mm -hmm. and A26 through 30. Now take your time. I don't need time to consider because I've made a lot of investments with you, Mr. I've, I've Roman. I've got to talk to you. Jim, what are you doing here? Jim Link, D. Ray Morton. Oh, glad to meet you. I just put Jim into Black Creek. Are you no, familiar with Black, Black Creek? Creek? Black Creek in Florida? Yes. Oh, I didn't mean to beautiful, talk to him about Black Creek. Beautiful, beautiful rolling city. hills. It's I was hot. just telling Jim and Ginny. Ray, I got to tell you something. Yeah. You eat in a lot of restaurants, Ray. I know you do. <laughs> Mr. Morton works for American Express. You, can I tell Jim what you do? Yeah, sure. Ray is in charge of all European sales and services for American X, but I'm telling you, you have not had a meal until you, I was just over at the Lynx last night. Oh. As a matter of fact, what's that service feature you were telling me about? Which one? Uh, home cooking. Oh, it was home, the, uh, home cooking. For the monthly interview. Oh, for the magazine. That's right. Can we talk about this? Is this? Oh, that's not till the September. You know what? Go ahead. Are you sure? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, well, Ray was over to dinner at one of his company man's homes in France. Man's French, isn't he? No, his wife is. Oh, his wife is. Excuse yeah. me. What time are you at? 
Me? Uh, 12, 15. 12. Oh, I got to get you on a plane. No, I said the 2 o'clock. No, you said the 1. That's why we couldn't oh, talk about this. Oh, right. I said the work. 1. We got to scoot. No, I, I, I've got to talk to you. Uh, I got to get Rado O'Hare. Come on, let's hustle. Uh, John, why don't you call um, American Express in Pittsburgh? Tell him uh, Mr. No, I, Morton's on that 1 o'clock plane. I'll see you. I'm sorry you came all the way over here. I got to take Rado O'Hare. You understand. You stay here. No, I got to meet your man at the bank. I wish you'd phoned. Are you and Ginny going to be home for dinner? No, I, I really can't wait until tonight. I, I need um, to speak right uh, now. Yes. Kenilworth. What? Kenilworth. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Excuse me, Jim. Ray, I told you who he is, is the uh, senior vice president for American X. His family owns 32%. Over the past few years, I've sold, I don't even know, quite a lot of land. I promised him five weeks ago that I would attend his wife's birthday party tonight in Kenilworth. I have to go. You understand, they treat me like a member of the family, so I have to go. It's funny, you know, you get this picture of a corporate type company man, all business. This man, no. We'll go to his home sometime. Uh, tomorrow, no, tomorrow I'm in LA. How about Monday? I'll take you to lunch. My, 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 hey, my we, wife we really, we really got to oh, go. Oh, I'm coming, Ray. I'm sorry, no. Jim, I'll give you a call. My wife. We just got yeah, it. My wife said I have to cancel the deal. Well, that's a common reaction, Jim. And I'll tell you what it is. Probably the reason you married her. One of the reasons is prudence. It's a sizable investment. One thinks twice. It's also something that women have. Uh, tell you what, you invite me over for dinner again, we'll speak to her. This woman can I'm cook. sure she can. It's just we've got to get out of here. i got to tell you something. Something about your acreage I wanted to discuss with you because um, I can't talk about it here. I really shouldn't. In fact, by law, I... the man next to you bought his lot at 42, made a phone call, said he already had... Hey, Rick, Rick, I don't mean yes. to interrupt. I'm this. coming, Ray, I go. promise. Go. There's one thing about your, your acreage that I said I couldn't talk about here, and that's what I would like to talk to you about in the future. Okay, Jim? Just give me, just give me one second, okay? Hey, 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 all right? Come, My um, wife... No, no, I know, I know. So what I'm saying, what a day. Um, uh, we're going to go. No, yeah. my wife... My wife should call the consumer, the, uh, the, the attorney, I don't know, the, the attorney, Jen... Um, they said we have three days. Who'd she call? I, I don't know. The, the attorney, Jen, uh, some, some consumer office. Why did she do that, Jim? I, I don't know. I don't know. They said we have three days. They said we have three days. Three days. Two. You know. No, I don't know. Tell me. To change your minds. Well, of course you have three days. So I can't talk Monday. Well, Jim, you saw my book. No, I can't. You saw my book. But I have to before Monday no, to get our money back. The three business days. Well, they mean three business days. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. No, I don't understand. Well, that's, that's what they are, three business no, days. No, no, no. Look, you don't count wait, Saturday. Well, I'm not. No, you don't include Saturday but, but, in your but, three days. It's not a business I'm day. I'm not counting it. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So it would have elapsed. What would have elapsed? If I wait until Monday... When did you write the check? Yesterday. And when was... Yesterday? Uh, Tuesday. And when was that check cashed? I don't know. When was the earliest the check could have been cashed? Today. Know. Today. Which, in any case, it was not, as there were a couple items of our agreement that I wanted to go over with you, in any case. The check wasn't cashed. I just called downtown. It's on my the desk. Yeah, right. We're going to we come. Yeah, absolutely. There are a couple other items I spoke to you that we cannot go over here. The V! Uh, okay, listen to me. Listen to me. That statute, it's in there for your <clears throat> protection. I have no problem with that. In fact, I was on the board when we drafted it. So Levine. quite the opposite. It states, hey, wait a minute. It states that you have three working days to change your mind after the deal is, is done, which is not until that check is cashed. You understand? Levine. I am through with this fucking Mississippi. No man has a right to talk to a man that way. How can you talk to that way? Hey, How can you talk to me that way? Okay, okay. hey, you know selling this. Yes, yes, yes. Why? No, no, I do not. Is anybody really going to my office, to Jim? Hey, let's take a step over Where here. I'll tell you what I'm talking about. Here, here. Watch your step. Watch your step. I work here. here. It's coming That's why I said on down. I did not what I'm saying is that guy called me to go to lunch. No, I don't want to go to lunch now. Where does he get off treating a person that we have been that way? No, no, no. Let me see if I can find the exact... That's what I'm trying to do. Here. I came here to work. Do you excuse me? And I need oh, these Gestapo tactics. I need back. Gestapo oh, tactics. That's that's not uh, right. Why should he anyway, call an attorney? That means you're guilty. That means you may be under suspect. 000. He says, we're going to take you downtown. No, no. Will I you get out of here? Will you get out of here? Will you? I am trying to run an office here. Will you go to lunch? Go to lunch. Will you go to lunch? Have you seen it? 
go to the restroom. It's just fine. <coughs> oh, very sorry, Jimmy. I apologize to no, you. No, no, it's not me. It's my wife. What is? I told you. Well, tell me again. What's going on? You here? tell me again. Your wife? I told you. You tell me again. She wants her money well, back. We're going to speak to her, Jim. No, she told we'll me right to now. Her, she Jim. won't listen. She won't listen. She told oh, me if my. not, I have to call the state's nope, attorney. No, we don't have to do that. That's just something she said. Yeah, she told me no, I don't have to. No, 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 I do. Well, if I don't get my money back, I have to call the state's attorney. You got a problem? Yes, I do have a problem, my friend. It's not me who ripped the joint off, all right? I'm trying to do business. I'll be with you in a while, all right? Where are you going? I'm going up. Where are you going? Hey, this is me. This is Ricky, Jim. You know me. Anything you want, you want it, you got it. Now sit down. There's something wrong. You tell me what it is. Now sit down. Tell you something? Sometimes we need someone from the outside to examine our lives and look at... Will you sit down, please? Sit... Hey. Hey! Sit down. Now talk to me. I can't negotiate. What does that mean? That... What? What? Talk I, to me. I, say the words. I don't have the power. I said... What power? The power to negotiate. To negotiate what? This! What this? The deal. The deal? Forget the deal, Jimmy. You got something on your mind. What is it? I, I can't talk to you. You met my wife. She... She what? What? What, Jim? Tell you what, let's go around the corner and we'll grab a drink, all right? No, she, she hey, told no one's me not going to, talk to know. To you. Let's go around the corner and we'll get a drink. No. She told me I have to get the check back or call Forget the, the deal, attorney. Jimmy. Forget the deal. The deal's dead. Am I talking about the deal? That's over. Please. This is about you. Now, come on. Come on. Come on, Jim. Tell you something? Hey. Your life. Come here, your life is your own. Got that? You have a contract with your wife. There are some things you do jointly, there's a bond there. And then there are other things. Those things are yours, and you needn't feel ashamed, you needn't feel you're being untrue, or that she'd abandon you if she knew. This is your life. Yes. Now, I want to talk to you because you're obviously upset, and that concerns me. Now, let's go, right now. And, Roma! And, what? And the check is... Roma, would you like to... What did I tell you? What did I say about those three days, huh? I'd like to get huh? some lunch here, huh? I'm talking with Mr. Link. If you please, I'll be back, I'll be back in a while, all right? The people downtown... You can contact Mr. Will you call them again. Mr. Williamson? Yes? Mr. Link and I are going yes, out... Yes, please, please. The police can be. What are the police doing? Oh, it was nothing. It's no. just. What are the police doing here? We had a slight burglary. Uh, it was night. really nothing. I was just assuring Mr. Link. Mr. That... Link, James Link, your contract went out. Nothing to worry about. John, your contract went out to the bank. You cashed the check. Mr. Williams. Uh, the, the check was cashed yesterday afternoon, and we're completely insured, as you know. In any case, so. You cashed the check. Not to my knowledge, no. Well, I'm sure. Oh, Christ. Uh, Don't Jim, follow wait. me. Don't follow me. Oh, Christ. Jim, wait a minute. <laughs> Look, I know I've let you down. I'm sorry. For... Forgive me. For... No. I don't know anymore. Forgive me. You stupid fucking cunt. You, Williamson, I'm talking to you, shithead. You just cost me $6,000. $6,000 and one Cadillac. That's right, what are you gonna do about it? Hmm? What are you gonna do about it, asshole, you fucking shit? Where did you learn your trade? Stupid fucking cunt, you idiot. Who ever taught you you could work could with I? men? I'm going to have your job, shithead. I'm going downtown and talking to Mitch and Murray, and I'm going to Lemkin. I don't care whose nephew you are 
who you know, whose dick you're sucking on, you're going out. Do you hear me? You're going out. Hey, fellas, Anyone in this hey, office fellas. lives on their wits. I'll be with you in just a minute. What you're here for is to help us. Does that seem clear to you? To help us. Not to fuck us up, to help men going out there to earn a living, you fairy, you company man. I'll tell you what, I hope you knock the joint off. I can tell your friend here something to help catch you. Do you want to know the first rule that you'd know if you ever spent a day in your life? You do not open your mouth until you know what the shot is. You fucking child. You, uh... <clears throat> you are a shithead, Williamson. <laughs> mm. If you can't think on your feet, you should keep your mouth closed. Huh? I'm talking to you. Do you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Yeah, you can't learn that in an office, huh? You actually have to live it. He is right, you can't buy it. Hey, I'm talking to you. Would you look at me? I'm trying to tell you something. What are you, you are? Yes, I am. What are you trying to tell me? What he's trying to tell you, what I was trying to tell you, why you don't belong in this business. Why I don't belong? No, okay, okay, look. There may come a day when you say, hey, you know, no, fuck it. Just listen to what I'm saying to you, okay? Your partner, a man who is your partner, depends on you. You have to go with him, for him, or else you are shit. You are shit. You cannot exist alone. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me nothing. Oh, Mr. Clumsy. Excuse me nothing. You be as cold as you want, but you just fucked a good man out of $6,000. Would you look at me, please? Out of $6,000 and his bonus. So if you aren't man enough to take something from that, if you honestly are not man enough to take something from that one, poof, you are scum. You, you are fucking white bread. You, you be as cold as you want. A fucking child would know it, and he's right. If you are going to make something up, be sure it'll help, or else keep your mouth shut. Hmm. And now I'm done with you. How do you know I made it up? What? How do you know I made it up? What do you mean? You said you don't make something up unless it's sure to help. Well, how do you know I made it up? Uh, what are you talking about? I told the customer his contract had gone to the bank. And hadn't it? No. It hadn't. Huh. Listen, uh, don't fuck around with me, all right? Don't fuck around with me. If you want to know something, ask. What are you trying to say? Well, I'm saying this, Shell. Usually I take the contracts to the bank. Uh -huh. and last night I didn't. Now, how'd you know that? One night in a year, I left a contract on my desk. Nobody knew that but you. Now, how did you know that? You want to talk to me? You want to talk to someone else? Because this is my job. This is my job on the line, and you are going to talk to me. Now, how did you know that contract was on my desk? Wow. You were so full of shit. You robbed the office. Oh, sure, yes, yes, I, I robbed the office. What'd you sure. do with the leads? Oh, God. You want to go in there? I tell him what I know. He's going to dig up something. You got an alibi? Mm. You better have one. What'd you do with the leads? If you tell me what you did with the leads, we can talk. I don't know what you're talking about. If you tell me where the leads are, I won't turn you in. If you don't, I'm going to tell the cop you stole them. Mitch and Murray are going to see that you go to jail. Believe me, they will. Now, what did you do with the leads? I'm going in there. You have five seconds to tell me what you did with the leads or you're going to jail. I wish I could help you. I don't care. Do you understand? What did you do with the leads? All right. I sold them to Jerry Graff. How much did you get for them? Five thousand, I took half. Who took the other half? Oh, do I have to tell you? 
Moss, Moss. That was easy, wasn't it? But it was his idea. Was it? Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure he got more than 5,000, actually. Uh -huh. Yeah, because he only told me my share was 25. Hmm. Okay. All right, look, 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 look. Yeah. I'm going to make this worth your while. All right, I am. Because I could do it. Look, to be honest, last night, I was about ready to do the Dutch, to be honest. All right? And Moss comes up to me and says, do this, we'll get well. And you know what? I do it because I'm halfway hoping to get caught, to put me out of my... But you know what? Big deal. I learned something, and I learned this. I got to put myself out there. All right? Big fucking deal. I wasn't born to be a thief. I was born to be a salesman. All right? So uh, we're going to work it out. I know we are. We'll, we'll do whatever it takes to work it out. We will work it out. I want to tell you something, Shelley. Yeah. You have a big mouth. What? You have a big mouth. And now I'm going to show you an even bigger one. Wait, wait, John, 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 wait, 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 John. You don't want to, you don't want to do that. Would you hold on? Hold it. All right. $2,500. Take it. Take it all. It's yours. $2,500. No, I don't think so, Shell. I am giving you... No, I think I don't want your money. I think you fucked up my office, and I think you're going away. Are you... Are you... Are you fucking nuts? Are you nuts? I'm gonna... I'm gonna sell. I am going to sell for you. I am back. All right, I'm gonna be number one. Hey, hey, hey. Come here. Come here. Come here. Listen, listen. 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 All right, here's... Here's, uh... Here's what we're gonna do, okay? 20%. Hmm? 20% of all my sales while I'm with the firm. 20%, all right? Huh? 50. 50%. I'll give you half of what I earn. Of all my sales. What sales? Of what? I just made 82 grand! I am back! This is only the beginning, only my the friend. the beginning? Absolutely. Shelly, where have you been? Bruce and Harriet Nyborg. Do you want to see the... They're nuts! They used to call in every week when I was with Webb and we were selling Arizona. They're nuts. Did you see the way they were living? How can you delude yourself? I got the check. Forget it. Frame it, it's worthless. Oh, this check is no good. You stick around, I'll pull the memo for you. I'm busy now. Wait, 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 wait. This check's really no good? They're nuts? Call up the bank. I called them. You did? Mm-hmm. I called them when we had the lead. Four months ago. The people are insane. They just like talking to salesmen. Don't. I'm sorry. Why? Because I don't like you. John. John, my daughter. Fuck you. <sighs> Asshole. Guy couldn't find his own couch in the living room. <laughs> Christ, what a day, what a day. Haven't even had a cup of coffee yet. Jag off John opens his mouth, he blows my Cadillac. I tell you, it is not a world of men. It's not a world of men, machine, it's a world of Bureaucrats, clock watchers, office holders. What it is, it's a fucked up world. There's no adventure to it. Dying breed. We are members of a dying breed. That's, that, that's why we gotta stick together. You know, Shell, I've been meaning to talk to you. I wanted to talk to you for some time. Long time, actually. I always thought, the machine, there's a guy I can work with. I've never said anything, don't know why. And the shit you were pulling on my guy today was so good. It was, and forgive me, I don't know if this is my place. It was admirable. It was the old stuff. Did you eat today? Me? Mm. Yeah. Well, you want to swing by the chinks, watch me eat, we'll talk? Uh, I think I'm, uh, I'm going to stick around here for a while. Mr. Levine. Okay, you finish up. Come down and let's uh, so Levine, you let's come put this here? together, okay, Shell? I Say think okay. We have to talk. Huh? Get in the room. Get in the goddamn room. Hey, hey, easy, friend. 
That's the machine. That's Shelley the Machine Levine. Ricky can't help you, pal. Rick. I'll be at the restaurant, all right? Rick, I... Uh, Come on down. Let's meet at the restaurant. I, I just, I just want to... You want what? You want to what? Okay, Williamson, listen to me, when the leads come in, listen, when the leads come in, I want the two off the top, my usual two. Anything you give Levine, I wouldn't worry about well, it. I'm going to worry about it, and so are you, so shut up and listen. I get his action, all right? Whatever I get is mine, whatever he gets, I'm taking half. Do you understand? Did, did Do you understand? I'm getting mine, I take half of his. You take half of my commissions, give half of mine to his to mine. Did they catch the guy? Fuck it, figure it out. Did, 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 did they find the guy who broke in? No, I don't know. Did, did, did the leads come in yet? No. Nope. Fuck. I hate this job. I'll be at the restaurant. Carry on. 